Where to, Sarah? Woodlands Castle in Somerset. What do you know about it? Well, not loads. It's a stately home. OK. And they're having a bit of a clear out. Some of the leads you find are good, but I must also say that sometimes we drive hundreds of miles for nothing. <laughs> Can't get a winner all the time. I reckon it was just worth it to go along and see what there is, because you yeah. never know with these places. We're going to meet Pippa, who works for the estate. She was fairly cagey on the phone about who actually owns this place, but she was keen to raise funds for some restoration work. These ones are always a gamble, but you never know. Look at this beautiful tile. Nice. Look at this grand place. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. I'm Sarah. Lovely to meet you. I'm Pippa. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you both. Welcome to Woodlands Castle. Thank you. Well, I've got a couple of garages that haven't been opened for many, many years. Good. We like to hear that. So let's go. Fantastic. Is this the treasure chest, then, Pippa? <laughs> Indeed it is. Oh, my gosh. There's uh, all sorts of stuff in here. Everything just gets thrown in here, then? Pretty much, yes. Anything, everything is up for discussion. And we just want to, to sell as much, or raise as much money as we possibly can so that we can start doing some restoration and we can start building a fabulous new conference centre and wedding venue. All stately homes have massive amounts of, of space that they haven't seen or been into for quite a while. Um, just beware, because a lot of the things have sentimental value, um, which is priceless. What you got there, Sarah? That's kind of a sweet little mirror, I suppose. Any idea what something like that would cost us? I would say several hundred pounds. You won't be having that mirror, though. <laughs> <laughs> fabric. You found some fabric. <laughs> Sarah loves fabric. <laughs> Can I get up here? Yes, by all means. Off he goes. That's <laughs> it. I found mystery item. A mystery item, which we like. Here's a giant frame that I don't know what sort of condition it's in. Do you know anything about that one? Yes, I do. Um, a great, great uncle. Um, his portrait was in that frame, and I have no idea how old it is, but it's got to be very ancient. Is any idea how much that would be? Well, sentimental value, probably <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Two see, little words we don't like to yeah. hear. Because we're not sentimental, you see. You going on in? I'm going on in. OK. What have you found? I found some big bellows. <laughs> Look at them, Bob. Wow. They That's are a pair of ginormous. bellows. Enormous. You ready? Yep. That's got to be some fire to. <laughs> well, do you know anything about that? They're amazing. These could be 100 years old. They're the old blacksmith bellows. Mm -hmm. They would have been in the forge. Are they a desirable thing? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a feature for somewhere, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> for the pub called The Forge. Yeah, <laughs> right. Any ideas, Miss Pippa? Um, Several hundred at least, surely. Right. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> it's amazing to open up places that haven't been opened up for years. I and mean, some of those places, 20, 20 years or more, haven't been opened up. Just to find all kinds of things in there that you haven't seen the light of day is just fantastic. Country estates are great places to explore. There's so much space and there's always lots to uncover. So I have no idea what's in here. This is rather a fine old settee, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. It's seen better days. It has definitely seen better days. Is there a big price tag on that one? Make us an offer. I don't know. It has a nice theatrical look yeah, to it. Yeah, it's more a sort of theatrical type of thing than mm. it is a... I could see it in a bar. Yeah. Here's the original wheelchair if you, when you have wheelchair access. <laughs> Sorry, he does this. I do. I get it, everything out so we can see what's there going on. There we go. Yes, I, I don't mind buying this if yeah. the price is reasonable. Any idea what they might want for that? Hmm. Several hundred. Ooh! The trouble is, these people are so unrealistic. They think because they've had it in the family for a while, it must be worth a fortune. Yeah, though. I don't want to insult her by going in well under her prices. No. But... But she has to be realistic. Yeah, and I think so. Let's face it, you know, what we buy here isn't going to redo their West Wing. No. Which is what they're hoping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've spotted a few things that we might want to take away from you. OK, where should we start? What, what Let's start with the bellows. Let's, Let's start, start in that order. Oh, uh, well, 900 quid. 900 Ooh. pounds. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to the black sofa settee. OK. That you can sell. Right, yes, yes. yes. Let's start a bit lower with that, then. I Let's think that's a good idea. Let's... Let's start with 
200 pounds? Oh, well, that's a better well, that's starting point. Well, that's we're in the same ballpark. Okay. Because I was thinking more like 100. Well, should we split the difference on that one and say 150? Sold. Keep Perfect. a shake on that one. <laughs> okay. I can't buy my bellows, so moving on to the wheelchair swiftly. Okay. 500 quid. Ooh. How much do you sell them in your shop for? I normally buy them for about 50 yep. and redo them and sell them for about 150. So that's real life? Yeah. No. Couldn't sell it for that much. No, Couldn't that's sell it right. So that's real life? The Ancestors picture frame. Let's start at 1,000 for that. Ooh. The picture frame? Yeah. No. You're holding your head. This is not good. When she starts oh, yeah. holding her head, it's quite <laughs> what worrying. If I, what if I brought it down to maybe 300? But you've started so enormously high. Well, it's got a lot of sentimental value. Oh, it's it's sentimental. The, the portrait that was the in there. Is value. Value. Yeah. But there is no portrait in there. There is no portrait in there. But so the story that you can sell along with that picture frame. You should have it, really, in your place because you know the story and everything else. We could go £100 on that. Oh, because you're handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, don't even get him started on that. <laughs> what about the bellow? <laughs> no chance. You're not that handsome. <laughs> Thank you.